I am always chasing after the best, perfect, absolute, cleanest, minimal, functional desktop in existence. And it's something I, I almost think is like chasing the dragon that you just never possibly get. But every time I do it, I feel like it just gets a little bit better. And that's kind of where I'm at. I wanted to talk about my thought and, and changing the way I'm building a lot of my desktops to really have all of the best things without as uh, many downsides as, you know, when a lot of times when you first get to Linux, a lot of people distro hop. I still use Windows. I still use Mac, all those things, but they're very boring and and it's a very bland experience. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't make me go, oh, I can't wait to get on my computer where a lot of times when I'm making something completely new from a desktop perspective like this, it, it, it's always like the the, uh, the unknown. What can we build? What can we make look? What can we make function differently? How are we going to launch into the menu? How are we going to launch our file browser to make that perfect system? And that's kind of where I'm at today. And I wanted to kind of show you my pro thought process where I'm at because a lot of people are like, hey, what about uh, finishing the Hyperland project and, and bringing that to the masses in a script form? Well, I'm still just kind of tinkering around and looking at some of the limitations and building out stuff and, and kind of making it uh, a platform to where I can tear it down and build it up and, and make it look and change and function very, very quickly without obviously doing reinstalls as that would be pretty exhausting. <laughs> so I kind of made a little article just to encompass all my thoughts. The base system, I like a long-term service release like a RHEL, Enterprise Linux is what I'm using right here. It's actually Rocky Linux, but a, a variant of it. You could use Alma. They're basically the same thing. Um, and I, that's what I'm using right now. I don't recommend that for many. Most people will probably want like Debian or Ubuntu. That'd be much more... Uh, palatable because the base package manager would have a lot more packages than what I'm working with. But I don't care too much about the packages on the system because the base system is not where I'm installing almost any of my GUI. Like when I'm clicking here and I'm using BSPWM or UBAR, all that's not even using the base package manager where you install the programs. Uh, what I'm doing instead on my system, if we do a NeoFetch, You'll notice on my packages some really interesting things. One, RPMs, this is the base one that's installed. But we also are using Nix. And I've talked about Nix uh, in great lengths on the channel, and I love Nix, uh, which is great. And then I also use Flatpak for certain games and, and some of things that maybe don't jive well with Nix. But most things can be Nix packages. And that is really nice because you have this base layer where all your function, all the system function, basically everything from the server realm sits. And then everything else to make it look pretty, to have those functions for user interaction, kind of sits in that Nix realm. So when we actually query what I'm doing, and you can see all the packages I'm, I'm installing that don't exist on that base package layer. Well, if these change or an update happens or anything, I can roll back generations and it's just very nice having that separation. So I was kind of trying this methodology out for this past couple of weeks, and I really enjoy it. And I think I'm not necessarily using Rocky, but it's a great way to break into this uh, way of thought process to where you won't break your system almost ever. I mean, you almost can't break it, which, you know, I'll take that as a challenge. But that's my thought process for the base layer and then adding packages through Nix. And that way you never can break your system. It's almost like a hybrid between an immutable file system and, and one that uh, still changes. But that base system, you still can change, make minor tweaks. It's just you can't change very much because there's not very many packages available. And the packages that are available are really old. So, uh, But they're very, very stable. And I, I kind of like this. So that's kind of my set, but actually getting into the look and feel of the actual thing. You can see kind of uh, walking you through the history here. I've done this before. Like when you look at the Ubuntu Titus, Debian Titus, Fedora Titus, I made repos for every one of these. And it has like all these different dependencies and it's installing all these different things. And looking at this desktop, 
it's really flawed because this test op is using Polybar, which was actually resource intensive. It was even more intensive than like KDE or GNOME when you started looking at like HTOP because of some of the scripts that it was running. So I really didn't like Polybar or Polybar projects. And uh, you could make it look a lot better than what I did here, but it was interesting. And then when I started really going through a lot of the, the Unix Rices out there, and I look at like what they did, especially like this one right here, it's kind of changing into something really neat. Because when you look at it, he's making a more minimal approach to it in not only design and just flow and function, he's doing it all using one package, which is OO. And the window management is done with Hyperland, which is really great. I'm not a huge fan of Hyperland yet. I'm still waiting for more of a stable release. But if you're an Arch or all those, Hyperland has come a long ways just in the past couple months. And I think I will switch to it as a full, full-blown full window manager probably next year in 2024. But for now, I'm more of just watching it, installing it on VMs, and just kind of seeing where it goes. But I really am enjoying watching a lot of the development and this project I liked because you just had your window manager and then everything else was pretty much an ooh. So there's not like a whole bunch of dependencies here. You just have a terminal, which you could honestly switch this out. I prefer Kitty instead of Westerm, but teach his own. Uh, his invim file, you could delete that altogether. You don't need it. Hyper and Home Manager, that's actually a, a Nix packages. Uh, GTK lock and then ooh. So very, very few. And this could be easily repl replicated on your system. So I really want, I just want to give a shout out to the developer here, uh, Ailur, I'm, I'm butchering that name, but it's a good way of building a Linux Rice that, you know, most of them start out with install 30 packages and then go from there. And that's just not a very good way to build a system. And I really like this. And this is something that I could replicate on this system right here. So that's why I'm like, interesting. But even more so, you can come down into here and we could take that a more minimal approach to building that perfect system into like awesome window manager. You see how beautiful this one is. And it doesn't require very much either. This is mostly just nerd fonts and things like Pipewire's probably already installed. Same with Network Manager. Pycom's just the compositor. But it's really just awesome. So he's really just using awesome and Rofi are the two big dependencies here. Very minimal dependency requirements. And that's kind of my thought when I'm, I'm looking at his desktop. There's a lot of beauty in it. It's minimal, but it also looks good. Now, I, I could probably copy these types of desktops, maybe make some minor tweaks, but I'm just not very good with the design aspect of it. It's just, I'm a function over form kind of guy any day of the week. I just want to get in and get it done. And I kind of am starting to lean back. And maybe this means, you know, I'm going full neck beard here. And my thought is there's two future perfect desktops for me. And I want to share it with you all because a lot of people are following me like, hey, what the hell? Why aren't these getting built out? And it's like, I haven't quite figured out what I want yet. And my future desktop isn't what's up here right now. I, I think this minimal U-bar and stuff, I like the actual function of it all. But the look of it and how it flows is decent, but not very good. And I almost kind of want to tear it down to a more DWM suckless philosophy and just go bare bones with this. Now this obviously looks hideous from 2010. I just grabbed the screenshot directly from DWM's website. If uh, a dev from DWM sees this, please just go to, you know, Unix's subreddit and, and grab any other DWM rice. It's gonna look infinitely better than this but I like how simple this is. And I wanna try this. So tomorrow, Thursday's stream uh, on Twitch, I will be building out just a basic DWM with some minor tweaks to just performance and, and, and the look of it and see how good I can get it and if I actually like that workflow because it's something I've never tried and a lot of people do end up setting on, you know, settling on that. So I'm gonna try that out. But then there's the second way. So there's the full neck beard. Hey, we're just going to do one, two, three, four, and just line it up at the top and, and do just plain Jane desktop. But 
there's also that part of me that really loves the Hyperland uh, system, and I still have that on my my desktop or my actual laptop that I take on the road. And I really love that flow. It's Arch Linux, and it has a different things, but pretty soon Hyperland and its packages will be in uh, Nix, and I think it already is. But there's some other dependencies I'm missing for necessarily staying on this SEPA I have right here, and then just installing it through Nix. I I really am looking forward to the future, but I at least wanted to update everybody on my thought process on the perfect system and, and when I'm in Linux and kind of why you might be looking at my desktop and be like, what the hell? He's kind of all over the place. It's really, I want to build that perfect system and, you know, maybe it doesn't exist. And I think that perfect system does look different for everyone watching this video. And uh, I want to just leave you with this. What is your perfect system? What is it? And I really do think staying minimal, doing one thing and doing it well is kind of, I love that philosophy. And if you can do it and make it look good too, man, I just feel like that's, you know, a beauty that we have yet to obtain, or at least I haven't. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.